Hi friends, it's Candy Jane, and today I am so excited. We have my very first collaboration with a fellow YouTuber. Her, her name is Danielle Gerstenberger, slash Glamberger is her channel name. And I tell you, uh, this is one of the benefits of being on YouTube. I randomly met her one day. Um, I think I either watched her channel or she watched my channel. We just started commenting um, and emailing back and forth, and she is so wonderful. So we decided to do this collaboration, and I want to tell you a little bit about her before I tell you what we're doing. She is a mother, and she's married. She just turned 40. It was a big birthday for her. And she does wonderful videos. I promise you, you will not regret watching her channel. Um, she's very interesting. She has had uh, many situations in life she's had to get through. One of those being weight loss. If you would go watch her channel, you would be amazed to see her. Knowing that she, she lost over 40 pounds a year or so ago. Um, she did it on this 12-week program, which she tells you about. Uh, she's doing it again. She's halfway through this time, and she looks amazing, amazing. Um, please go to her channel if you're interested in losing weight. She, and if you have any questions, she will. She is that type of person that will help you if you ask her a question. She's not one of these big beauty gurus that don't even see your comment. Please, you know, check her out. She does vlogs. And if you're interested in saving money, she she knows how to shop. If you want to save money, you need to watch her channel. She buys makeup at a good price. Uh, not just makeup. She just, she buys clothing at, I don't know, she had bought a pair of a shirt like for two, three dollars. I'm like, I never see things that cute for that price. But um, and she does a lot of shopping at TJ Maxx. I know we have one here locally, Louisiana residents that are listening. We have that, that store here. Um, but she is so down to earth. She's, um, she's a religious person. She, she's just wonderful. So we got together and we decided we would do a collaboration on the Milani Most Love Matte's palette. Her husband had surprised her with this gift and um, I randomly chose five colors and she randomly chose five colors for me to do a look so it should be interesting because some of these colors are I know I got two lights and three darks as you can see on my eyes it didn't come out too bad so I'm not sure how what colors she got I gave her the numbers and I haven't really looked at them but I, I know her look probably came out amazing no matter what because she's just she's got beautiful blue eyes she's a beautiful person um, but please check it out she's uh, from up north she's from Michigan and that was interesting in itself I'm sure she listens to my my little Cajun accent and laughs over there but she she's wonderful so please please check out our channel and for you people that are watching from her channel, I'm Kendi Jane. I'm from South Louisiana, and I'm married, have two children. Um, I recently couldn't work. Um, I'm legally blind. I'm totally blind in my left eye. I can't see light or anything. And the disease is now in my right eye. And... Um, I can't pass, pass a driving test. I can tell you I can't see the, I look through the thing, I can't see the letters at all. But I knew that. Uh, I no longer can drive. But I love doing YouTube videos. And on my channel I review beauty, uh, beauty products, anything having to do with making yourself beautiful. I do tutorials. I also, um, if someone asks me to buy a product, I don't mind doing that. I love uh, doing reviews on foundations and concealers. But that is my channel. 
um, I'm trying to get it out there that even if you have uh, disabilities or something wrong on your face that you're embarrassed of, like I was uh, kind of em embarrassed of my eye for many years, uh, it just makes me look not as normal as other people. Um, that, but I put myself out there and it was very hard, but I do it every time I make a video and I just wanted to show these people that they could do it too. So that's why I'm doing my channel and hopefully you'll like it. It's, I am an amateur. I've just been doing this since January. I put up my first video, but I really love doing it. Um, and I'm meeting so many wonderful people like Danielle, um, I'm so happy she did this collaboration with me. So, with no further ado, can we just get into this palette? First thing I'm going to show you is the swatches and the numbers on the palette and the colors I got to do my look. So, before we begin, please remember to subscribe and to hit that notification bell and you'll get reminders of all my videos. And uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And remember, if uh, you have any questions about anything I do, please put it in the comments or how you felt about the video. I love getting back to people. It might take me a week or so to get back to you, but I try to uh, return every comment with a comment to just stay in touch with the people on my channel. And I also have a giveaway going on. Uh, I'll put the video up here, and all you got to do is watch that video. It will explain all the rules. Uh, you need to make a comment under that video. I have monthly giveaways, and when we get to December, I may do something a little different, special, because it's December. But just watch the video. It'll give you all the information you need. And with no further ado, let's get this eye look going. We're going to start with our look. The numbers that were picked out for me to do my look with were 2, 4, 8, 10, and 12. And I have swatches of those colors here. I will have this also numbered so you can see the colors. I have two light colors. The first one is Come Up Roses. It's like a very pale pink color. The next color is Daily Latte, My Daily Latte, and it's a, a real pale beige color. This next color is called No Plum Intended, and it's a deep plum color. The next color is called Chocolate is Life. Have any chocolate lovers out there? I bet you there's a bunch. And this is like a deep chocolate brown. The last color is called Under the Sun. It's a warm, rusty brown. It looks different in the pan than it does on my arm, but you'll see. So I have to deal with three deep colors and two light colors. And as you can see, I've already done my left eye. I'm gonna start on my right eye. And this eye look is called either a halo look, or I call it a rainbow technique. It just seems easy to understand that way. So to do a, a rainbow or a halo eye, I take my pencil brush. I've already primed my eye and put the palest shade all over. I'm going to take, first I'll take the deepest color. Well, two of them are very deep. I took... Um, no punt, no plum intended. This pretty color here, and tap on it. These colors, uh, in in range of pigmentness, pigmentness, they are like middle. I'd say middle of the line. Um, they're they're very dusty. So make sure you dust it off, because it will fall out on your face if you don't dust it off. Which I I, I don't mind that. Most shades are dusty but um, you need to pack on the color a few times. And what I do, I just start packing on my inner eye here. As you can see, I'm gonna try to keep the brush low. And you just pack on color right above your natural crease. 
my eyes are hooded as you can see I have a, a little hood and as I get older it seems like it gets more and more defined so um, if you don't have a hood I would go up right above my crease and you just go to the outer edge of your eye and also pack on color and I kind of angle it toward the inner part of my eye like this one's angled a little bit to the right not much but just a little bit and you get enough color packed in there with your pencil brush um, or what, whichever brush you have that packs on color well. I'm going to use the color uh, Under the Sun as my transition color since it's the lightest. And that is this last color here. Take a fluffy brush. This is a blending brush and it's tapered as you can see. And that point on the taper will fit right into your crease. And because it's tapered, it's going to go a little bit above, and that's what we want. We want that little bit above to go above the crease to peek out a little bit. And this is just a uh, color change. Okay, you dip into color 12 under the sun. And we're just going to blend this color and the plum colors together. And we just go back and forth. These Milani colors are a little bit hard to blend also, um, but they're blendable, but it, it takes a little bit more work than a high-end color, but they're very pretty. So you just blend it, blend it, blend it till you have the top of your rainbow. And um, I just keep blending. And if you need a little bit more color, you want to blend it in. Okay, and after that, I'm going to take that chocolate brown, which is chocolate is life, and go inside my rainbow and um, do like around inside, but leaving like this area open. Okay, I'm going to take my same pencil brush and dip it into the chocolate brown. And remember, you see the duck just tap it off. And we're going to pack on a little color right here on the inner part. And then on the top. And then on the right side here and it's very easy to do with this fine um, pencil brush if you buy you a couple good brushes and Sigma I would recommend Sigma is one of the best brushes that for the price it's awesome these run about six seven dollars they're not that expensive maybe ten dollars I'd have to look it up I'll put it under my video but if you were to buy two brushes I'd buy a pencil brush and I'd buy a good fluffy blending brush um, I do have some pro Sephora but they they're more expensive Sigma and Morphe are about and you gotta watch with Morphe because they sell some in sets that aren't like their top of the line I find instead of buying a whole set of brushes, just buy one at a time till you get a few good brushes. And it makes it so much easier to do your eye looks. And it has helped me tremendously with my looks. Okay, then now we're gonna just come with that transition color. Is it under the sun, under the sun. Okay, just tap and just blend, blend it in. I want to blend real well right here and I don't don't go too high you don't want to go too high you never ever put um, eye makeup under your eyebrow um, because the reason is because when you do your eye look you always come back with a highlighter under your eye eyebrow 
and it lifts your eyes. If it's dark, it, it it's not, you know, unless you're doing costume makeup and that's different, but for makeup, you're gonna wear it every day. You don't wanna go that high. And of course, you never wanna put a frosty color in your, in your crease of your eye either, or on top of your hood if you have hooded eyes. You see, it's a little hard to blend out these colors. I'm gonna take that second to lightest color, which is called My Daily Latte. And I'm gonna blend that in up here because I don't wanna go too high. Okay, and once you have it all blended out like you like it, we're gonna take, I'm gonna take my, you can use any concealer you have. I just happen to have um, Makeup Revolution concealer that I don't like wearing under my eyes, but I'm using it. It's a good one to use for a cut crease because it's very matte. And the way I do this, this is not hard at all. You just take your, your um, concealer, dab it in that area on your eye. Sometimes I put some on my hand, back of my hand, and I dip in with my brush. But let's see, and I take um, a flat shader brush I use for concealer. Use this. <laughs> this brush. And this brush has no name on it. It's just an old brush I have. And I just take my brush and spread it in the middle real thinly. Just take your time. And when you open your eyes, you, you might get some that transfers above it because of if you have a hooded eye. And you just make it like the other eye. You just spread it real thin. right up until to the crease. Got a little bit right here, I don't want that. I'll blend that out. Okay, and once you get it there, like you like it, I take Come Up Roses on your, uh, like a blending brush would be fine. You just dip into that color Oh, actually, I used my finger. I forgot about that. Okay, dip your finger. Make sure it's clean and dip into Come Up Roses and just put it over that concealer. It's okay if you get a little bit on the sides. We're going to blend it with the darker color. Just tap, dab it on there. Okay and take your blending brush. I'm gonna take my pencil brush first. And dip maybe into the chocolate color and try to blend it in with this light color. Just blend the sides in as best you can. You can dip in more if you like that in the uh, burgundy color. And you want it where it doesn't go from dark to light. You want that middle area to be like it's changing colors. And that's it. This, this palette is all mattes, which is wonderful. I love mattes. But the more, it, it used to be where, um, when I was younger, they had frosty colors. My mom used to tell me you never wear frosty colors when you get over a certain age. Well, I wish my mom was here so I could show her all these new uh, duochrome shades and different colors because it's not like a frost, they, they, they have beautiful um, met, metal looking colors. Um, it's like flat, it's not like a glittery. So I don't believe that's true. I believe you can wear anything you want at any age. You do you, what makes you happy. And I think if my mom was here to see those colors, she would agree, maybe. <laughs> 
Okay. And that is our spotlight. We're going to take, um, I have a little brush here I use for under my eye and to highlight under my eyebrow. I'm going to take that same Come Up Roses and highlight under my eye here. And I'll put a little bit here too. And daily latte, my daily latte. I want to take that one and just blend a little bit more up here. And that's all you need to do for this little look. I was I was afraid that the three dark colors and two very light colors would be hard to make a look, but I think it came out beautifully. Um, I have a lot of fallout, so I'm going to clean that up. And I did one more thing before we go. I took my little brush here with the pointed area and I sprayed it with Fix Plus. If you don't have Fix Plus, just wet it. I guess you can try. Um, and I dipped into this chocolate color and I used that as my eyeliner. And you can roll it like on a tissue to make sure it's not too heavy. And you just line the top of your eye with that like this I wanted to mention I have a uh, when this Milani palette came out a few months ago I did a video on it I'm gonna uh, put it up here so if anybody's interested in seeing my review on this palette you're welcome to watch the video after this one just if you press on it it'll start after this video and now I'm just tight lining a little bit with that same color. And if you need more, you just dip in again. And if you need to put more water to darken it, that's what you do. And that's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean up and put some lashes on. And I'll be right back. Okay, I have my lashes on. I put a little bit of the transition type color, which is under the sun, and a little bit chocolate under my eyes to kind of smoke it out. And I think my look came out very nice. This palette is very nice. It's a very good everyday look. It, uh, if you were to glam it up though, I think you need a little bit more um, different types of tones. Please excuse my puppy, he's drinking. Uh, I have two, two dogs, two uh, old dogs. One's 15 and one's 16. Uh, Rusty, uh, he's been with us since my daughter was two years old and my son was about eight. So they're both elderly puppies. So we're having to take a lot of care of them. But they're still hanging in there but anyways thank you so much for watching i really enjoy doing this with danielle she is such a pleasure to do anything with i'm so happy i found a friend it makes doing these videos so worth it she's she's a darling please please go to her channel you will not regret it take a minute just go i have both the links under my video um, I have her channel link and I'll have the video link she did with this collab. I picked five colors for her to do and um, please check her out. I would really appreciate it and I know once you watch her video you will want to subscribe. So thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And until next time, bye!